Okay, totally different subject now. The issue of corruption and how to deal with it. Since corruption is intrinsic, built in to the community, they are like that naturally. Yeah? When the community creates a system to um, deal with corruption, yeah, they shouldn't corrupt it. But because when that system becomes a community, one of the things that it's going to have is corruption. It's a built-in property. So I suggest that corruption is taught from, from kindergarten level. You have to teach corruption, yeah, so that people know how to do it right. The aim is to reduce the destructive effects of corruption, yeah. You have to teach it. You, you know, you're willing to teach them about other lifestyle choices, yeah, which um, do not involve the, the primary roles of producing children so that they are aware and um, uh, you re deduce, reduce the destruct this destructive um, uh, way that most people react towards people of different lifestyles. In the same vein, you have to teach them corruption yeah so that they learn how to do it right because policemen are like cub scouts they like they don't know how to do corruption they know right from wrong yeah like things are either right or wrong things are very black and white it's either right or wrong for them for the community to force them to start to consider allowing things to get away they consider that to be corruption and then when they start doing it, they have no idea how to do it. They have no idea how to do it. Yeah. So the people that are growing up in community are either corrupt or anti-corrupt. Yeah. But the corrupt will always exist in any community. So it's about teaching people on how to deal with the corrupt and how to be corrupt themselves. When you're corrupt, you need to be fair. What should you be considering when you're being corrupt? You the corrupt community <laughs> will, will, will be able to produce a teacher who can, but he'll be corrupt, <laughs> who can teach you um, students on how to be corrupt and not damage what you're corrupting. An example I like to use is, is the Vikings, the way they were when they used to come to the British Isles. They will pillage and rob everything, but they will leave them with enough to bounce back. That way it becomes a cash cow. So, They'll pillage and raid all the villages and, and everything. And then after, then they'll go away. They won't even bother ruling it. They'll go away. These people will recover and then they'll go back up to level. Then they'll come back after five years and do the same thing. So that way you don't uh, dis disable or permanently damage what you're feeding off. Yeah. So you learn not to cause a, a destruction that will, will, that will break the system like skimming off the top people have to learn not teaching them what teaching them corrupt activity but teaching them how to be corrupt if they ever became like that you shouldn't insinuate or imply that anyone's corrupt we have to learn how to teach corruption yeah to our children so that they grow up knowing how to be fair if they ever became corrupt okay it's very very important yeah so um i think that would be a way of resolving this of resolving the the these doubts yeah because you don't need an un whatever there's unfairness you try and get rid of it but remember the people are the ones who created the system to manage them yeah they created the components of the system to manage them but then they're gonna corrupt that those components so when when the first stage would be to design a system to manage you. When you design a system to manage you, make sure that corruption, yeah, is treated as an intrinsic natural property that will be there regardless and therefore has to be handled in such a way as to reduce the destructive effects from it. Okay? Which means... In terms of handling that that it has to be taught yeah it has to be understood properly and then taught yeah so that people grow up 
knowing what it is, knowing how to react to it, and knowing how to indulge in it, if they choose to. Yeah? You do this before you design your systems, before you actually construct your systems, at the design stage, I should say, at the conceptualization stage. When, when the community asks you to come up with a system to govern them, you consider the fact that the people who are asking you are corrupt and you'll be governing them when they're corrupt. So you have to train your officers on how to deal with corruption, like I said, how to deal with it when they see it, how to indulge in it if they do it, indulge in it and how to know what it is. Yeah. You teach it that way so that they see it as part of everyday life rather than something that requires somebody to get killed over. That's all I wanted to add. My battery running out. <laughs> Me done.